Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our discussion of Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This spider team. Don't even get me started on Doctor Strange and the little nerd back on Earth 1999 That was one of the jokes in the trailer that had me worried about this film. I was like, here we go. Sony just making Marvel do what they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> They're making Marvel their bitch right now, man. And now they for you know, just crowbarring themselves into Marvel's universe a little bit more. Of course, we're talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe over at Disney. But uh, saw this, Martin saw it and gave his review on the night that we got out of the screening, but I got to do my review the next day and uh, love this movie, love this movie so much, man. I do think that there's a problem with the movie, you know, just for me, in the middle of the film, but not enough to ruin anything for me at all, so I gave it a high full price. I think it's uh, just as good as the first one. Improved in certain areas, definitely did some things that are more interesting than the first film. And I think it progressed things pretty well. And so I, I'm just like everybody else out there. I love this movie to death. Uh, can't wait to see it again. And if I can't get to the theater, even better, because now I can put it on, a, uh, on my TV and just pause it mm -hmm. to see all these details mm -hmm. that you are going have on. To. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you give the movie? I'll, I'll, I'll be very quick. You know, um, I, I thought it was very good. I really, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's, it's the kind of film where it clearly Sony gave the filmmakers carte blanche to whatever they wanted. Mm -hmm. It's that kind of film. I think it definitely has some pacing issues. But once we get into like the, the proper plot, like at the forty five minute mark, then I thought like it finally like, okay, here here we are. Now now we're getting into it and going to the Spider Verse and exploring all that and you know, Miles meeting with all these different characters and expanding relationship on Gwen. That that was good. The the, the artistic vision of this movie is incredible. Like I just appreciate like that this type of art style is now proliferating across mm -hmm. and like this movie I think is just like the best showcase of that. Just love the the colors, it's beautiful, all the different environments that we go into. Each world has its own personality and mm -hmm. aesthetic, I think it's great for me. So I would give it a full price. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. gave it a high full price. Yeah. Uh, I think I still prefer the first one. Yeah, I think I like them both just in different ways. Because, mm -hmm. like I said, this one definitely just with the, with the artistry in it, just kind of you know just went crazy with it. Oh, 100. I mean, it, it, and see, that's it's almost over. It's almost overwhelming. I can see people yeah, getting overwhelmed it, by it. It, it is. Lisa. I did, did, did overwhelmed by it. Yeah. Yeah, and when you mentioned the the first third, mm. it, I, I was clocking. It was more like the first half, at least. For me, because right. I was like looked at my watch and it was almost an hour and fifteen minutes mm. when it when it went to a point <clears throat> when they get to India, like that's when it turned around for me. But up I to that, agree with you. Up, yeah. to, up to that point, yeah, it was it was over an hour before okay. you get to that point, point. Uh, and yeah, it was just it, it was like story wise and writing wise, I was like, man, these conversations they're having between the the kids and the parents, these are like the writing is kind of like what you see on a network television show. They, I, I usually think they're better than this. And uh, yeah, the pacing was slow, and they were doing the thing like they can switch art styles, mm -hmm. but it was it wasn't like they were punctuating things. They were just doing it constantly. I was like, this is actually kind of distracting, yeah, and, and a little overwhelming. It, it's almost like we can do it, so we're doing it. I didn't think it moved slow. I thought it moved too fast in the beginning. Really? Yeah, it mm. moved too because I was tired. Oh, because <laughs> oh, well, the, the film opens up with I mean Gwen. Like that's like the first. It's like 15 minutes before the title card pops yeah, up. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean the, the movie's doing a lot, man. Yeah. It's, and it's like you're right. It's doing a lot with, with and and we'll get into this in a little bit. It's doing a lot with with uh, before they even get to Miles. They're doing yeah. a lot of stuff with uh, with Gwen Stacy in this and her story. And I thought it was up oh, great with her playing the drums and a big drum solo that happened with her and mm -hmm. whatnot. I, mm -hmm. I thought that that was awesome. But after the you know after a while things start moving pretty fast and I was just like even when it got to that point you're talking about I was like hey man I, I, I can I breathe <laughs> you know can I <laughs> can can you slow down for just a moment because uh, I'm I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the rest of this movie because it's too uh, it's almost too much of a good thing that's going on because that's in the review I thought they just. They didn't want to cut anything because a lot of it is really good stuff, but there's no one to cut back. But, you know, going into actually making this a spoiler discussion, uh, let's talk about some of the things in the movie that we couldn't talk about in the trailer. And a lot of people are talking about the end of the film. So if you've seen the movie, you know what we're talking about. Last time we get out of here before we, uh, we start going deep with this. So, you know, at the, at the end of the movie, you know, they have this, this big reveal that there's a universe that, that Miles Morales goes to. And he's going to a universe where his uncle is still alive. As we know, his uncle, uh, uh, what's his name? Aaron. Aaron. His uncle Aaron is, is the prowler. 
Uh, but in this universe, he goes there. Uncle Aaron is not dead. He's still alive, and he's not wearing his, uh, you know, pimped out, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> outfit uh, prowler costume. It's future and costume. What's that? Fuchsia costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> purple. Fair enough. Pimp, pimp purple. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, and then the, the big reveal is that the reason why Uncle Aaron's not the prowler is because Miles himself mm. is the prowler. And... Some people uh, said that, you know, this kept them in suspense and can't wait to see what happens next. And some people are like, I don't know how I feel about that. But that's the moment where that's the, you know, that's the big Empire Strikes Back moment mm -hmm. right there. You know, nothing solved. Everything looks grim. I, I, uh, I don't know what you guys thought about the ending. I, I liked it, but, you know, what did you think about it? I mean, it well, it doesn't really have an ending. <laughs> That's the yeah. thing. Well, it's the, like, the cliffhanger. No, no, no. Sure, sorry, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, the cliffhanger. Um, uh, I mean, it is that is kind of what comics do, though. It's like the the oftentimes the hero will fight his evil exact evil counterpart, and so some oftentimes I, I, I every time. every single comic book that was ever made they <laughs> yeah. they do that uh, at one point. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, I think the world visually looked really cool. And I like the idea is like, this world does not have Spider-Man. That's mm -hmm. why it's like so shitty. And so it's like, oh shit. And so now he's probably going to feel in like a level of guilt. No, it's not his fault because it's like, I got the spider from this universe that bit me. And so now I mean, he's going to feel like responsible for this world. And so I can see him where even despite that not being him really, or that being his uncle, he still cares for that family. So I'm interested more in that than just fighting an evil version of himself. Yeah. It was, it was an interesting, uh, you know, cliffhanger to it in as much as when he's telling his mom, look, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. She's like, the fuck are you talking about? Boy, yeah. quit playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was good. She, said, was like, she sounded what? like a mom. Boy, quit playing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, what's a Spider-Man yeah. anyway? <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's interesting. Um, it was only undercut for me because, one, I, I completely forgot it was supposed to be two parts. So yeah. I was like, oh, dun, dun, dun. And it's like, mm. to be continued. Like, the fuck, what? <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's it's a cool place to end it. I mean, it, it does leave you, you know, on the edge of your seat. Like, mm. okay, what's going to happen next? I'm going to tell you why I love that ending so much, man. Uh, it's for a few reasons. Because, again, I think that the writing in this movie, I think, is so good when it's really hidden. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, cause some people say they didn't like it. I don't have a picture of the kid. But some people are like, Oh uh, man, who does Cholo Morales appear? <laughs> Coming up here with these braids, these dookie braids, and, and uh, you know, talking with this accent. Well, okay, so if you saw the movie, you know that his uh, that his dad, formerly Jefferson Davis, had to change his name because that's <laughs> yeah, why? Well, yeah, because that's a huh? damn Confederate name. Oh, <laughs> so okay. they were like, oops. <laughs> so they changed his name okay. from the comics. Yeah, yeah, because I was like Jefferson Morales. Jefferson Morales, baby. Yeah, yeah he because he ain't the least bit Latino. What's going on here? <laughs> he took his wife's name. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Oh, he, he, yeah. man. He was yeah, he was the wife in that relation, right, in, right. That, in that marriage. But uh, he's huh. dead. So I thought that that made sense because the reason why he was some people say Cholo Morales because his his, his father, father died. died. Yeah, so he now he's murdered. He's getting more influenced by his mother, so she's you know he, he's he's getting more culture from her, hmm. uh, you know, and also the reason why he's probably the prowler is because he's under the influence of his old ragged ass uncle, right. trifling ass uncle. <laughs> right, you right. know, his father's not around. Aaron, everybody likes Uncle Aaron because Uncle Aaron is cool, but Uncle Aaron it is was, trifling, man. Yeah. That, this, first, that's what I've been saying like since the last movie because it's just kind of weird to me that they honor his uncle. It's like, he fucking helped kill Spider-Man in the last movie. Yeah. Why are we honoring this guy? That's one thing that's never sat well with me personally. It's like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's like, oh, you never want to be a bad guy. It's like, I think he did. And that, that was always kind of weird, but I'm like, we uh, Dark all right. Vader, man. Come on. We don't want a Darth Vader. Yeah, we do. No, it doesn't make up for the Darth billions Vader come he's back killed. And that white man, everybody like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's slaughtered a room full of kids, and he still gets to be a fourth ghost. And, yeah. I, and I, I, I take umbrage of that, too. It doesn't make any sense. I love that whole Twilight Zone feel where he comes back, and he's like, hey, mom, I'm, and he, I mean, he picked, man, he was ready. Yeah. yeah. I felt yeah. bad for him. Yeah. He, he had been working on that speech. Good moment. Yeah, he was working on that speech. He was like, he was. He finally did, you know, came out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took him everything. It took that deep breath. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> just like, boy, get on out of that mess. <laughs> and he's like, oops. Oh fuck, I'm in the I really, I really love that man. So I thought that that ending was fine, man. Mm -hmm. I thought, I, I, cliffhanger. Yeah. Thank you. If I get smacked down. I, I didn't say, hey, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Don't you say that. Yeah, yeah, I, I loved it, man. Um, and there's going to be a point where it, I, I like the setup. It's going to be Miles fighting himself. Yep. Of course. Which yep. they, they, they've done in the comics already. 
Jesus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Say uncle bitch. That's right. <laughs> Look at my, like, mama, help me. Ooh. Yeah, it's the... Uh, it, uh, they've already had a fight between an evil Miles Morales and, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I guess, our Miles Morales. So, uh, so speaking of Uncle Aaron and the Prowler and whatnot, uh, this is something that I think a lot of people like, but I can see a lot of people not liking it. What do you feel about the cameo by, and, and several of the, of the cameos, but this cameo by Donald Glover as the Prowler from uh, the MCU? I kind of hated it. Did you? Yeah, the, the the little Easter eggs, like oh that that nerd in the nine one nine one with Doctor Strange don't get me started and and stuff like that. I was like mm, gimmicky. I thought it was fun. I, I I wasn't bothered by that. If anything, it makes me excited. Like okay, well now you got to have Donald Glover as the Prowler in the live action Miles Morales movie, which we'll I, I I've been saying for years. <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, he was Falcon Homecoming, so bring him back. I think he'd be great in that role. Yeah. No, actually, I loved him. Uh, in uh in homecoming i thought me that too. was yeah yeah me too yeah i thought that was a great scene when they first meet when spider-man meets uncle aaron i'm a boy i mean i'm a i'm a man i don't care what you are boy girl i need to know give me names or else shit <laughs> <laughs> that's great no I, I love that man uh yeah i i'm like you man i thought i i, I wouldn't like it because i'm i usually don't like stuff like that mm -hmm. but i love i really love that cameo <laughs> it made me laugh man it made me and the reason why I think that I didn't mind it because there's stuff in here that I should not like. You know, I'm not a big fan of uh, of, of either the Venom movies, but when we had that scene where like you had the, uh, the spot. you know the, the the spot talk to the the Asian chick at the at the store from yeah, Venom, from the clerk. Mm -hmm. yeah, the clerk, yeah, I I those things I didn't mind. Yeah, I didn't mind that one. And I asked myself, you know, why did, why did it work for me? All these cameos, especially when you had. The animation mixing in, mixing in with the live action from movies that I don't really care about, and I thought, you know what? I think it's because this movie is such a mashup of styles, yeah. and it's just it's so wild already that all right, they, it didn't feel out of place. Mm -hmm. It's well, just like all right, you know, they're doing they're putting everything else in here, and this and and like I said, man, I didn't think it was uh it was brief, and they treated it as a joke. It didn't feel like it, it, this was uh that it was Sony trying to actually force them into some story. It was just a little aside. And by the way, that. You know, if anybody thinks, well, shit, now we gotta, we're forced to put Danny Glover in there. Or Don Sorry. Glover. Well, Danny Glover too. He could, <laughs> he could, he could be that. Yeah, he, he could, could be a prowler variant. He could be yeah. Grandpa Morales, Morales or something, man. With that spider suit. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but he could be uh, a prowler from another dimension. He, yeah, that's true. You know, they could, they, oh, they yeah. could play very clearly, loose with this. Clearly, so. clearly, what he was. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I, I feel it's a way to get people's hopes up. Like, hey, now, now they'll get him to play the prowler. And it's like, yeah, remember when we got John Krasinski as yeah. Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. yeah that's true. Well, that's why I looked at this and it's like, you know, I'd rather him not come in and do the prowler at least not now but when they did it, i was like it's just a joke I, I you know it's very brief they played it up for laughs i get it it doesn't you know, it didn't, it didn't bother me as much as i thought it would uh very interesting things that they did with uh are very uh, something in particular that they did with miguel o'hara mm. so this is where the movie's kicking in for you did you like this character oh fuck yeah yeah, yeah. no no at this point i'm i'm totally in yeah. Same. No, yeah. I thought he was great. Yeah, 2099 Spider-Man. Spider-Man yeah. 2099. Yeah, yeah Miguel O'Hara voiced by Oscar Isaac. By the way, I love Oscar Isaac as an actor. I thought that this was... I thought it was very good what they did with this character. First of all, I just thought he was a good protagonist. But... Me yeah, antagonist. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> antagonist. And, you know, I'm, well, I'm mix that up. Not at all. I thought he was a great antagonist. Uh, that character, I thought, had a lot of depth to him. First of all... I was amazed at how they made this character. Be, you were able to take him seriously um, amongst all this crazy, mm -hmm. yeah. ridiculous, f comedic shit that's going on. Because, you know, his story was told in the middle of this, and we, we were already kind of transferring into the more serious part of the movie. Mm. But, you know, the whole story where he tried to go to a uh, universe and thought he was doing the right mm. thing, raising his family, ended up just, you know, killing everybody, yep. destroying the whole, you know, destroying a whole planet, a whole dimension full of people. So, that, you know, that makes him a person that's not straight up just a villain. You know, he's an he's an antagonist, but not a straight up villain. You see why he's doing what he's doing. And, man, I, I really had that conflict in the movie. I was like, I see where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you just can't ask somebody to sit back and watch their dad die, you know? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you got to lock his ass up or, you know, do something. Because you can't kill a bunch of other universes. So I don't know what the answer would be. So they both have a point. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, you can't just, like, say to somebody, like, there's a... a Episode of classic Star Trek that I love, where they they beam down to this planet. And they say they don't they don't come down here, and they, and they do, and they're like, "What's going on?" And say, "Well, we we have wars now, but we don't actually fight. <laughs> we do it all by computer." 
and that way it saves the buildings and, and mm -hmm. the culture. And they're like, oh, that's cool. So yeah, but see, where your ship is, that, that's marked on the computer as being destroyed. So you got to bring your people down there and march them into the death chamber. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, okay. and, and, and Captain Kirk is like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess y'all did. <laughs> I guess y'all some dead motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what Miles Morales said. Yeah, exactly. he said, "Fuck you, <laughs> do it my own way." <laughs> Fuck all you spider people. <laughs> my, my daddy gonna live. <laughs> but I, I, there was a, a legit. They both had legit it's arguments. A conundrum. Yeah, and I yeah. and I felt for both of them because I see yep. I see both points. I you know and even you know. Because it's not going to be an easy answer for any of this. They'll, no. they'll write one, I'm sure, for the third movie. I mean, movie. They, you know, they'll figure something out. Or, you know, maybe like in the game, uh, Jefferson will die. Uh, I don't die think. You think they're going to kill him? I don't think they're going to kill him. I, I think they'll kill him. I'm yeah, going to place he, bets. I think he he's doesn't. Die. He doesn't die in comics. But, I mean, this, this yeah. movie is going hardcore. And the one thing that they are right about is that every Spider-Man uh, has to have a significant death. That's, yeah. that's part of the way it goes. I love that. I, there was just a... A, a screen full of nothing but misery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what it was. All these spider people just crying over dead bodies. Live action, <laughs> animated. Everybody was happy before, just like, yeah. Oh, wow. we, Way to bring the room down, man. We, we joked to hide the pain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, yeah, as much as you're like, man, I see his point, it, it kind of turned that point where he was like, well, you're not even supposed to be a real Spider-Man. You don't belong Ooh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A shitty thing to say. Yeah, yeah. You, man, he, he, he could have handled this a little bit. <laughs> yeah, well, he's hot. can't help so. Yeah, he yeah. could have said, "Hey, man, yeah, no, you're part of the team right here in this room." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let you have your daddy die. <laughs> but uh, uh, first of all, I don't, I don't think they're going to kill his father because it, that's, that's the whole point of going through all this. Unless, unless it's like. You know, it ends with no matter what we do, this is what it all comes down well, to. Well, you know what? I thought, I thought that they, they might end up having to kill him. It's probably going to come to that until we go to the other dimension where he's already dead. Yeah. And that made me think. Okay. Oh, that's now, true too. Yeah. Now, okay. Now, since one is dead, uh, we have to yeah. save. I see. See, protect this hey, other we one. killed him, y'all. Shut up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So we already got one. I mean, you can be putting all you dead black man. <laughs> 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 uh, but the other thing they did with this character that I thought was was really cool is that uh, this character is a social commentary for all the people that said you can't make a black spider-man mm -hmm. and um, yeah. yeah that's true yeah and the directors came out and flat out said yeah this is true uh, this is on uh, the Nerdist they did an interview with the with the three directors and they didn't even let him finish his question before they say hell yeah people telling telling Miles what he can't do was there any degree of that story that was meant to be a sort of Commentary on the fans who who don't see Miles yes. as a real person. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I laid yeah. that down quick. Mm. Yeah, I, you know, which I thought was cool because, you know, it wasn't heavy-handed at all. And you, you don't, if you don't know, because uh, listen, I didn't even know that that's what that character was doing. I admit, I had somebody. Uh, it's Adam subtle. Told me yesterday. It's subtle. It's well written. That's why it works. Yeah. yeah. No, Adam told me that yesterday, and he that he's the one that gave me this clip right here. Mm. And I said, you know what, for. Me going around talking, you know, all this social justice shit and everything. I didn't notice that at all. Oh yeah, but I agree with them. Yeah, fuck all you nerds, man. You know, I'd glad they, I'm glad they put that in there. Um, I think that uh, I think another character that I was impressed with is uh, the Spot. Yeah. You know, the Spot was uh, I think a, a a great villain because the Spot, you know, he starts out as a joke. And man, this okay. So this is what I love about this movie, man. Another thing I think is great is that they. They took jokes. You don't have to know them in order for them to work. You mm -hmm. know, they, they work on their own, but they are, they're, they're, they're special treats if you do know the origin of that joke. And I remember, and I feel so, I feel so good about this, ahead of my time. You know, it's, uh, when we reviewed Into the Spider-Verse, one of the things that I said, man, you know, they do these little subtle things, like uh, hit that guy with a bagel. Yeah. Hey, hands up. Okay, now we do a switchy switchy. What? Get back here. Where do you think you're going? He took a bagel! Alright, time to swing, just like I taught you. <laughs> <laughs> bagel. <laughs> I love that, man. Who would have known that the bagel, the bagel guy would end up being the, the, the spot guy yeah. right here? And I, what I love, did you like this character? Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I know, I, I loved him. Well, first of all, I'm such a fan of 
taking really obscure Spider-Man villains. Like, mm-hmm. the spot was in the 70s, I want to yeah. say, 80s or whatever. It might have been more 80s. Yeah. And they, yeah. they, they, they you know, he's a joke. He's, th- that's the joke. He's, he's the, you're a villain of the week. And he turns out to be his nemesis and the things that he does. But he's scary. He's really creepy. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to destroy your entire world, everything you love, and take away from you. Yeah. But I love that it starts, like, from small beginnings. Yeah, it's brilliant. Because in the beginning, he's a uh, you know, it's a joke. He's a joke, and I think that he's treated as a joke with Spider-Man, of course. But I think it, it's meant to throw the audience off. I uh, damn. Hey, get to the screen real quick. Go, go, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Lean down, let people see your face. Yeah, I know you was in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> man, how come you tell nobody, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah, You got him walking into that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he walked in slow. Yeah, yeah. Walked in the frame. Yeah, a little more, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little more down. Ah, you're red hot. <laughs> <laughs> um... You're right. He he is very scary by the end yeah. of the movie. You know because look, he looked creepy at first, and that was a joke that, that it's he his had skin. He has his skin, so you <laughs> kind of grossed out by him yeah. at first. But then at the end, he uh, once he takes that you know that fishing cap off and you know starts getting more powerful, uh, just the design becomes more scary. Yeah. You know, the, like the, he, the you know the lines that they use for him become more jittery. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, his his body language, like he's like his uh, his hunch is more. His frame rate's different than everyone else's. Yeah. when he moves around. Now. Yeah, yeah. No, he's he's pretty frightening by the end. And I remember saying, I said this in the review, like, uh, don't ever listen to me because I was the one people like, don't worry, we don't. But I was, you know, I was talking about how that character was going to be like, ah, he's going to be like a small, you know, appearance in the movie. They got a bigger villain that we ain't talking about yet. And he ends up being the big villain in the movie. Yeah. It's Jason Schwartzman who does the voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he does a great job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, man, oh, shit, he got me. Hey, man. But uh, going from uh, villains to heroes, I really like that large part of this movie. Well, not a large part, of it, but a good chunk is Gwen Stacy's story. Yeah. And I really love the stuff between her and her dad, man. Mm-hmm. That stuff at the beginning where her dad is just kind of like, shit, shit, I'm torn between my job and, and my kid. And, and, you know, I swore to up, uphold, uphold the law. And he just, if you saw the movie, you know, as he tells his daughter when she reveals to him that uh, she's Spider-Woman. Uh, you know, he told, tells her she's under arrest. Like, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, right. I've been... A- <laughs> <laughs> Call back to yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's just kind of like, I've been after your ass for how long? Mm-hmm. Shit, I put too much work into this. I don't care who you are. Also, you know, I kind of took this scene as... Because they do have subtle references to gay culture and kids and whatnot. So I'm not trying yeah. to make this more than what no, it is. No, 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 no. I was talking to a girl last night, and she said that's how she equated it, like coming out to her parents and watching As, this. Yeah, a gay person coming out to their parents and their parents rejecting them because, wow. yeah, she has to she huh. has to leave. You know, I they, never they, thought of it that she way. She has to be adopted. So check it out. So she, you know, just like gay kids coming out to their parents and are rejected, they have to end up being adopted by families who are like them, end mm-hmm. up being, you know, like people who are gay, okay. you know, they have to find their own communities. Wow, okay. And so that's that's, oh, that's 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 what that that's was, cool. man. Okay. And it's like there's a scene where she has like a, a trans like message or bumper yeah, yeah, sticker, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, Protect so trans kids, I think. So yeah, I, you know, I'm sure that's not what they 100 percent equated that to, but I'm sure they took inspiration from hmm. those sure. kind of things. Interesting. Yeah, you know, uh, but you know, you're not beat over the head with it. No, no, again. I didn't even realize until he says, yeah. like, oh, wow, that is how it is. Hey, okay, that cool. is some gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also love that she introduced herself to Miles' parents. Because they acted like parents of color. They said, who's this hoe after our baby? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just came to the show and said, who's a white girl? <laughs> oh, no, Miles, no. I don't know you didn't bring this you blonde bitch in the first draft. <laughs> 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 I know you didn't bring this skinny-ass white girl up in here. <laughs> But I, I like the way she, I like the way she's introduced to the parents, and they already have like a cold relationship. They didn't like it when she when she first popped up. Yeah. I like the I like the conversation with dad because mom was like, "What does he want with her?" She, she, and dad was like, "I can think of a few things." <laughs> <laughs> I was, I maybe it was a mom that said that. Well, even when I he, was no, it was a dad that was like, "What is what is he doing with her anyway?" And mom was like, "What the fuck?" But you like, <laughs> eventually <laughs> wonder. What are you gonna say? I'm sorry. Oh, just her like, oh yeah, I just came through the window like I usually do. You like the fuck? You well, what? <laughs> Excuse, Excuse me? me. Yeah. He, he was like, "That's some white." Privilege for your ass coming through our window, but uh, 
you know, I, 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 I did like, and, and before I was rooting for Gwen and, and Miles to get together, and I still am, but I like that they didn't push that too far in this movie. Wow. You, I, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to have a heart attack. That's the one thing I saw. I was like, oh, they almost, but not quite. I was like, oh, Corey's going to have a no, about this. no, it made it made sense for this movie okay. right here. Well, I mean, the conflict between yeah. them, it's like because she's lying, yeah, the whole time. Hey, right. Everyone's lying to him. She's lying, and she also said that I don't want to die, <laughs> you know, because yeah. it's never it's never worked out well when Gwen and 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 a, and a Spider Man got together. Yeah. And she's like, you know, you could kill me. Yeah, so. but how many times has that happened? Her getting together with Spider Man. But 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 she's not romantically not this version of Gwen. Right. She's not romantically with Spider Man. They're just friends right now. Right 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 right. Which I guess didn't work out for the other Peter Parker that was a lizard man. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. but she's just kind of like, and I love that whole thing of I feel close to this kid. I want to get I want to get with him. But you know we have this whole thing where I'm you know I I can't really be myself. Uh, this could put both of us in danger. So yeah, you know, I I I saw why they didn't get together. I mean, no, you know, there was yeah. there was a, they they gave reasons. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this movie they they originally talked about doing uh, a, a a Gwen Stacy film right. instead of doing a, a sequel. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. you know this got so huge. I guess that's true. But, the, but that's why they gave her a lot of stuff in this uh, film. Fair enough. Yeah, because they you know they already planned to have a lot of stuff going on with her anyway. Uh. Did you like the music in this? You said I did. I did. Yeah, I love the score, the synth. I, the, all, I mean, I'm a sucker for synth, so that was fantastic. Bet you can't wait to hear it on Raycons. Oh man. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when it, oh, you get that score, man, and get yourself some some, mm -hmm. Ray, some Raycons. Mm -hmm. Raycon earbuds, man. Uh, I don't just. I'm not just uh, you know, hawking these on y'all, man. I want to take time out to give thanks to our sponsor, Raycon earbuds, and you know, Martin. You see me travel with those earbuds. I, I use have. them all the time. All I just time. don't. I'm just not telling y'all to buy them because I'm trying to make money off y'all. No, I think they are very good. I use them all the time. If you and if you see me traveling the airport, I'm, there's a good chance I want to have my my uh, my Raycons. Raycons, in. Raycons. Mm -hmm. like Martin just made a jingle right there. Hit <laughs> 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 that falsetto too, <laughs> Raycon. You know I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you to do that again before we're done, <laughs> but. I have some that I travel with, and I have some that I work out with. I have the, the fitness earbuds right there. But the thing with Raycon, man, they want you to know that you're getting quality earbuds, you're getting a quality product, and you don't have to pay a whole lot for that quality. You know, it's just all in the technology that they're using that makes them so so nice. You know, that listen, they're inexpensive enough to where you can buy one for yourself, you know, one one for the, uh, your mom and your daddy's or your wife. Buy, buy one for the dog. <laughs> you know, you, they're, they, hey, they're that affordable. And, you know, in addition to being economical, uh, they have options where you can even make it more feasible to buy these. They got buy now, pay later options. You can buy some right now for as low as $18 at the checkout. And they also offer a two-year protection insurance for just a few more bucks. And they will also take care of the shipping and have flat fee international shipping. So everybody around the world can have the quality of those. Right what on. are they, Martin? Raycon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You sound great on these, man. <laughs> uh, and you got really nothing to lose because they have a very, very nice money back guarantee. But hey, you know something? I don't know why you wouldn't trust them and not like them. They have over 50,000 five-star reviews out there. No kidding. Martin was like, damn. You see, that's a lot. 50,000. I didn't say 5,000. I said 50,000. And, uh, you know, the thing that I like about mine, especially the fitness earbuds, is that, hey, when you're moving around and working out a lot, they fit very well in there, but the sound is very nice. And you're sweating, but it's very water and sweat resistant. And also, when I'm done working out, I can walk around the house and listen to them because they have eight hours of playtime. Have I sold you on this yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. But don't spend your money just yet. I can save you just a few more bucks by sending you over to buyraycon.com slash toasted. And when you do that, you'll get 15% off your next Raycon order. Again, that is buyraycon.com slash toasted. B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash T-O-A-S-T. E D. Go over there and get 15% off your order. I want to thank Raycon for coming in and sponsoring this portion of the show. And I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Oh, hit them one more time, Martin. Raycons. Oh, so sweet. How can you turn that down right there? 
All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying so fine, don't you agree? <laughs> Do we? Do we? <laughs> These things on my ear. I tell you who else would sound good on those Raycon. Spider Punk, man. Yeah. Spider Punk is everyone's breakout character that I've heard. They love this character, mm-hmm. man. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I like about about uh, Spider Punk. First of all, this is uh, Daniel Kaluuya. Messed, messed up. I know the guy's name. I messed up and said David in the, oh. in, the, in the review. You should see people are hot. David! <laughs> it's not my, look, I'm still messing up. They said, Daniel! Daniel! And one asshole came in. It's not that hard. I was like, well, apparently it is for me. <laughs> so uh, It's Kaluuya. Kaluuya, okay. Yeah. I love that too. <laughs> no, it's, he's Kaluuya. That's, what, that's, 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 how, I, that's how I want to go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't nobody get this boy in there. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya. I loved him as the voice, as you would say. A lot of people forget he's British. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. So, did when the first when the character first came on, did y'all have trouble like just watching the character because there was so much going on? They had done so much by that point. Just <laughs> 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 got it, used to it. it. Right in, yeah. yeah. He's like newspaper. That's how I. Yeah. That's how I viewed him. As. Well, he's punk rock. Yeah, he's, he's gonna he's, be different than everybody yeah, else. Yeah. yeah, we were saying in uh, Julian, him and Dinger hit it perfect because I was saying he's like a band flyer. Uh, yeah. you know, collage. Yeah. And then Julian said, like, the Sex Pistols. Yeah. So I was yeah. like, perfect. I yeah. said, that's exactly, because if you ever seen the, the Sex Pistols motif, it's mm. all collage stuff. Uh, but, yeah, for a while, I had, first I was like, I can't take Thought this character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was glitching, because the character is just so jittery uh-huh. and chaotic. Yeah. And just its design. Yeah. But then uh, once you got used to it, and especially once uh, the character started talking more, I really liked the character. And, and what I really like about this character, and I said in the review, but I'll elaborate more, is that, you know, he comes in with a lot of uh, anti-authority humor. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and the, the baby takes a shit. He's like, you know, you, you crapped on authority. I salute you, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, <clears throat> they, um, he's always telling people, like, uh, yeah, I'll do it, but not because you told me to. And they're like, right. let's go do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but he, his anti-authority attitude you can kind of see where it, benef- where, where it benefits the story because he comes in and tells Miles very early on, he's like, you know, oi, hey, watch these people around here. You know, that's, <laughs> you know, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, you know, I, I don't follow these people for a reason. He's like, don't, don't get too comfortable around here. And, you know, and it, and it, that's what happens, man. I know. I and it's so funny how it starts out. Like, he's initially, like, really unsure about him. Uh-huh. And doesn't even trust like Hobby Brown, you know, Spider Punk, and then he's the one that actually inspires, you know, Miles to like get the hell out of here, gives him yeah. some helpful advice. <laughs> yeah. Palms, man, palms, not fingertips, palms. I like I mean, that. Is Daniel Kaluuya? So it's kind of a get out thing where he's like, I trust these white people. That's right. That's right. Get out, Mike. Get out. Get out. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's, that's a great connection right there. Yeah. But uh, it is good that he's the one who's like, man, don't let them tell you what to do. And all this, like, you got to do that. You ain't got to do that. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. see me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, fuck these white people, man. <laughs> That's not all white people. They <laughs> got cats and monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jessica. Yeah. Hey, and I ain't Miguel Harry, he's yeah. Irish and man, 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 Hispanic. <laughs> and Gwen, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit that, man. <laughs> you know. uh, but, man, uh, I laughed so hard. This is one of the things that people were talking about where they thought that we were spoiling the movie. I said, man, you know, uh, uh, Sony gave us th- these clips, uh, you know, and I don't think it really spoiled the film. But I will say, I, d- I-, I do feel like they showed a lot because when they started showing the scene where Spider Man was being chased by the Spider Man, when they start bringing, they start spring- bringing in spider things that I didn't know existed. Mm. And I did show the clip there, but I, again, I don't think it ruined the movie for anybody, but I thought it was hilarious. Stop what you're doing and stop Spider Man. <laughs> I laughed so hard at that, man. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was so fast. I, I missed that the first time. Did you? Yeah. No, I see. I thought that this this scene was so well done because they did take the Easter eggs and the cameos and just had all these yeah. great gags yeah, one I, after I, I another. Like it here. <laughs> <laughs> I never yeah. knew that there was a spider T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. know either. I didn't know either, yeah. Yeah. So, 
you know, that was a big surprise to me. So maybe I showed a lot right there. But again, the, the, that's, the, that's what they gave you to show. They, yeah. they, they, that's what, yeah, exactly. I, I think that was in some of the trailers, though. Yeah. No, oh, right. actually, it was, I think, the, the, the dinosaur yeah. was in one of the well, trailers. The, the, all the pointing thing. That's that yeah, was yeah, definitely. that was in the trailer for sure. What's the meme? Uh, speaking of, uh, one of the things I did not mention in the trailers, speaking of, you know, just cool stuff that they did, that scene with the, 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 the Da Vinci Vulture. That was great. Oh, yeah, that I, was good. That's the one of the things that first pulled me in. I thought there was a lot of great gags between, because a lot of times, they, you know, in movies, we see them doing destruction, which I'm not totally into these days. They're just tearing up everything. But they tore up that museum. And every time they tore up something, it was like a joke. Mm. Like when they broke that uh, balloon dog, and there was a bunch of little balloon dogs in it. It was just kind of like, oh, shit, we never knew that. You know, but then, you know, that was just a, that's when I first said, wow, these, this mesh of designs that they have, is great. You it's know, like different animation styles fighting against each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just like the little details because, I mean, he's very much a Da Vinci, you know, like drawing where you'll have like little scribbles and the Da Vinci's mm -hmm. like, and the, like the bombs pop out. Like, oh, wow, yeah, the sketch so lines and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what did not work for me in this. And I'm not saying that, again, this is because I, I thought it was good. It was just too much and it made an area of the, of the, of the movie too long. It got to that point where they were introducing all of the different spider people, or some major ones, mm -hmm. like uh, Spider Punk and Indian Spider Man, which I, actually I, I like that character mm -hmm. a, a lot. You guys, my name is Professor Prabhakar. I live in Mumbai. This is where the traffic is. This is also where the traffic is. There's traffic here too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the character. I love that scene. But they would they would introducing characters like that in that same way, like. Uh, Spider Punk got introduced. Yeah. You know, yeah. they went through Miles' story again, mm -hmm. and every time they retold it, it got it got louder and more frantic. And that's the point where I started to get exhausted. Yeah, and I was like, I'm loving this, but man, I y'all gotta stop. I gotta stop beating the shit out of me right now. <laughs> you know, it's like it's really too much. And I just thought it started it started feeling repetitive, and uh, that's where I started feeling just kind of bombarded. And uh, but no, again, that's where I meant like it's just I, I like all of this. It's just so much all at once. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and also, I thought, you know, when they were, that's, that's some of the areas where they could have cut uh, the story a little bit. Like, I, this scene was necessary because that's a major part of the story where they save uh, yes. uh, Indian uh, New York uh, captain. Uh, the captain's daughter oh, yeah. to show that that wasn't supposed to happen. I thought some of these places could have been cut just a little bit shorter, but, you know, I don't know. That, that a small part of the movie that I probably felt and didn't like too much. And when I say didn't like, I don't mean didn't like. It's a criticism, but yeah, not yeah, a harsh yeah, criticism. Yeah, I get you. I don't know, but anything I want to add, man, because I, I think I've gone through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we covered a, 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 yeah, a lot like of the movie. I'm trying to think of anything that we might have uh, might have missed. I mean, one character we haven't really talked about, and, and, and one because he's not really in it that much is Peter V. Parker. You know, he's like, I'm a dad now, and he loves being a dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, I thought you know, that was great. Well, man. It, it, no, it was, I mean, it's a great resolution from the last movie, yes. but also the fact that he's like, yeah, Miles, you gotta you gotta let this happen. It's like. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, the you? betrayal. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the betrayal. Because I always thought, yeah, I've talked about this in my own review, where he almost felt like in the last movie, like a critique on like current comics era Spider-Man, where mm -hmm. it's like, why does he always have to be a schlub all the time yeah, and just yeah. miserable and have nothing work out for him? And so I kind of like that in this movie. It's like, see, he can be a dad. Mm -hmm. All right, we can have Mayday Parker. You yeah. know, it's like, so that was nice. <clears throat> I would have liked him in, in, in it more, but at the same time, you know, again, they're introduced so many characters. I'm sure he'll have a larger role in the next one. Well, course. plus holding off... It's it's a it's a big thing when he does show up. Yes, it's true. Yeah, uh, I love his baby. <laughs> yeah, Mayday, yeah, Mayday yeah. Parker. Yeah, Mayday. But I think she, I think that baby's adorable, yeah, man. There's a point where, like, uh, there's there's some shit going down because he's been I forgot what he was doing. He was busy, but he turned around. That baby was pointing outside, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it was Gwen waiting on him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I thought, man, I thought that was cool. I I you know, um, somebody told me something. I probably shouldn't even bring this up, but it was. It, w it was uh, Dalton mm -hmm. that told me this. He said that he saw the movie with the guy that you're staying with. Mm -hmm. And the guy was like, oh, there we go. Make the white man goofy. All this. Then we go with more woke shit. And I was like, R really? He's not even goofy. He's no, just a he's dad. not goofy he's, at he all. Went, no. he went, and it's not goofy. I, I, that's, that's not what I, no. I didn't get that at all. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people are saying this, but it just pissed me off. And I said, man, no, don't, don't, don't ever let me meet this dude. Right. <laughs> I'll choke the hell out of this dude. Man, I was like, yeah, he's. And, and what if, uh, what if, uh, uh, what about all the other characters that are goofy in the yeah, movie? Yeah, tons of goofy characters. Miles' there. dad is goofy. Mm -hmm. Miles is goofy. Well, Corey, that's fine because that's a black guy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very funny people. Yeah. Swagger and everything, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I do have the swagger. Yeah, the swagger. <laughs> of a teenage I'm a black, I'm a I'm a teenage black, black man. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the swagger like of a black, black teen. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. I, I do have that. But no, I, I I agree with you. I think you made an excellent point. You said, man, they don't always have to like be depressed. And yeah, be through. miserable. Yeah. So he, he can still grow mm-hmm. despite being like, in the, in the, he's like in his 40s. Like, he can still have a life. Yeah. It's not over. That's why I, so I like the, that. Yeah, that's why I love the scene with the, the, the three Peter Parkers in. Uh, uh, no way home. Yes, because all of them are just being people. They ain't mm-hmm. sad about shit. You yeah. know. It's, well, yeah. Andrew Garfield's pretty sad. <laughs> he's, pretty sad. <laughs> he's pretty miserable. But he, he, he gets a little bit of a pep in the step in the yeah, end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's sad because he thinks he's feel he feels lame <laughs> because, <laughs> because the other two Spider Man fought they fought aliens. <laughs> well, also his, his girlfriend died. Yeah, it's the other thing oh, he's too. Over her. Yeah. <laughs> I caught her. Yay! I'm yeah. redeemed. <laughs> oh, but Gwen is still dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go out with me? Worth a try. Throws her up in the air. <laughs> 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 <laughs>